The very first thing you need to do today is make sure with a pencil you get your name on this square piece of white paper. Then you're gonna go ahead and fold it in half two times. Do your very best to line up the edges. We really want these perfect folds. We are going to repeat the process that you did on your test print two times. We are making two of our four final prints today. So just like last time, we start by coloring our print plate. When the print plate is colored, we use a paintbrush and water to dampen the square that we'll be printing in. And then we'll be making sure that our arrow lines up with the middle of the paper. Don't forget to grab that paper towel and just do a quick pat dry of the area that you put water on. And then like I said, line that arrow up with the center of your paper. Remember that once you put your print plate down, you don't wanna move it. So just hold it still, even if you got it a little bit crooked in this uh, quarter of your paper, don't worry about that too much. You can always kind of peek carefully to see if it's working, um, but try so hard not to um, move your print plate once it is on the paper. Otherwise, you'll just end up smearing your print. So um, again, repeat that exact process um, and do one more square, making sure again that your arrow is pointed toward the center of your paper every time. Once you have two done today, go ahead and put it on the drying rack. We'll do the last two next week. We need to keep your print plate for next time. So just go ahead and wipe it off um, and make sure it's dry so that it doesn't get on anybody else's um, print. 